The Space Shuttle Atlantis quietly waits to complete its final mission just over a year after returning from space for the last time. As it's prepared to be put on display at NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Cape Canaveral, Florida, the remaining members of its technical crew finalize the solemn task of its end journey. All this that's going on now, shutting everything down, it's not just a layoff, it's not just the ending of the program, it's a breakup of a family. Tell these young folks out there, tell the young people in colleges, build us something better that we can use because we need to stay in space, we need to be the leaders. This labor pad is bonded to the base of the tile. This is actually what gets bonded to the skin of the orbiter. Uh, it has multiple purposes. It has a thermal value in case the tile gets busted completely off by some type of debris. And it also works as a shock absorber when during launch time, the whole orbiter is rocking and rolling and moving and the aluminum skin is flexing. So this works as a shock absorber, allowing the towel to move with it. We used to have a team of over a thousand for each vehicle. Now I have a team of about a hundred that has processed all four vehicles, including Enterprise, which was already at the Smithsonian and we moved it to New York. Being a part of that close-knit team and, and being honored with the, the task of taking care of these vehicles up until the very end and delivering them to their new homes and then knowing that, that we were a part of that is a very special feeling. From the Kennedy Space Center in Cape Canaveral, Florida, this is James Tutton reporting.